We will assume company A shares used to trade at $1,000 each and are now sitting at a mere $100, with prices stagnating around this level over the past two months. All of a sudden, the price spikes up to $400 in just 24 hours. Bill sees this and greed takes over. In his case, while he suspects something is fishy, the so-called fear of missing out or FOMO kicks in and he ends up panic buying because he's afraid it might be his last chance to buy at this level. Unfortunately for him, prices crash to $250 the next day and he's afraid they'll go back to 100 bucks, so he panic sells everything and moves on. As mentioned in another video, many things about our behavior in an economic context have to do with two driving forces, fear and greed. In our case, Bill's greed coupled with the fear of missing out convinced him to panic buy despite him having suspicions about the sustainability of the price increase. Later on, extreme fear convinced him to panic sell so as to avoid further pain. Study after study proves that the overwhelming majority of retail or quote-unquote average Joe traders lose money and many of the reasons revolve around these two words yet again, fear and greed. Some people will roll their eyes and say this video's topic is too simplistic, yet many of them will end up panic buying and or selling because while they kind of sort of understand fear and greed, they don't internalize this knowledge. As a quick conclusion, gaining knowledge is only one part of the equation. Never make the mistake of underestimating how vital it is to better control your emotions.